I found out in um, episode one of this season, you can add this in here, okay. that uh, the flamingo is my spirit animal. Really? Yeah. Why are you surprised by that? I mean, that's probably the first I've ever heard. A flamingo? Well, I, I enjoy flamingos as... Clearly. Clearly, right? Clearly. clearly. In the Fred the flamingo towels, there, yeah. and I've got towels, and Michael Bennett noticed it and asked if that was my spirit animal, and I kind of laughed, and I thought, that's <laughs> not even a thing. Come to find out, I get a text 20 minutes after he leaves with what a spirit animal of flamingo is, hmm. and he was like, no, I think that's you. So maybe what I need is a tattoo of a flamingo. I have none, but maybe, <laughs> maybe. Like on my leg, you know, if I was just yeah. like one... You know, like, like get it. it. Yeah, right, because yeah, I'd good. be like a flamingo that was... <laughs> Somebody at home is like, could you just move this conversation along? So if you could have a flamingo as a pet, would you have one? No, I would want... I would want... What is the group of flamingos called? Flamboyance. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's called... Hey, Siri, what do you call a group of flamingos? Nope. Alexa, that's Alexa, sorry. I go through this every single episode. Alexa, what do you call a group of flamingos? A group of flamingos is referred to as a flamboyance or a colony. Hmm. I would want a okay. flamboyance. One seems sad, because you know that flamingos become friends for life. Really? Yes. Oh. I've done a little research on flamingos. Wow. Also, they are not born pink, they are born white. You know how they get their pink color? How? From eating shrimp. That's a lot of shrimp. <laughs> That's a lot of shrimp. <laughs> well, you know, it's a tall bird. Okay. It, it's a tall bird. And that is Flamingos 101 <laughs> with Jen. Um, okay, so you get to Florida State. Yes, ma'am. And how many people recognized your name or was there a legacy because of your father? Because your father also won yes. a national championship. Yes. Um, a little bit of both. Um, I would say a little bit of both. My dad had his legacy there, but I think coming there, being the number one player in the country after the Davion Clowney, I kind of had my own name. Wait, can we can we just can we stop and can, <laughs> can we do some TV magic? Did you want to say that one more time? You were the number number one, one overall player in the country after the Davion Clowney. So it kind of had his own name, but then my dad being there too had his name as well. Your dad was a DB, right? Yeah, yeah. At what point did you surpass your dad? Like uh, size wise? I was about, well, I'll say this. My dad's about six foot, about 190. My freshman year in high school, I was 6'1, 215. And I was benching 315 going in my summer, eighth grade year. So, yeah, I probably surpassed him pretty, pretty quick. Did you, <laughs> did you ever want to be a DB? Like, was, uh, it, was it heartbreaking for you <laughs> when you realized that you had outgrown the position? So crazy enough, um, my dad kind of picked up on the fact that I always wanted to do a skill position. I actually played defensive end and wide receiver into my junior year of high school. How, you were a wide receiver? I played, yeah, I played at Prosper uh, uh -huh. High School for my first two years and then didn't run my last three. But I played receiver at Prosper and then moved to tight end when I went to Denton Ryan. So what he would do is uh, I would go to Deion Sanders' house and he would have his camps and he would have me do like ladder works and one-on-one -on -one drills as the big receiver, a big receiver. And he just used to call me the dancing panda bear and work on my feet. And so it kind of corresponded because a receiver is just a smaller defensive end when you're trying to get off the line and get off the jam. So that's kind of how I got my pass rush skills, I guess in a sense. So where's the panda tattoo? I don't have a panda. I don't have a panda. I don't have a panda. <laughs> I didn't get that one. I didn't you get it. Didn't, you said no to that one? Yeah, that I couldn't was, do that one. Okay. Well, you know, panda bears are kind of soft. They kind of look real. Well, mm -hmm. when you smile, you look pleasant. Uh, okay. But at least you didn't say soft. <laughs> you know, I, I, take that. That. I take that. I take that. I would never say that. So you outgrew your dad's position pretty early on. Mm -hmm. You were in the locker room with your dad for a long time. Yes. I was there when Dave Campo was the coach. I would go and get in the hot tub and see George T. Uh, I was actually at the game when um, Emmitt Smith broke the rushing record. And uh, it was kind of cool. So I've been around for some pretty cool cowboy history. You worked out in their weight room? Mm -hmm. When did you stop working out next to your dad? 
man, I worked out with him pretty much my whole high school. I mean, he was my coach in high school, and uh, you know, we would do off-season workouts together. And then as I started getting older, like my sophomore, junior year, he would be leading them, eighth grade, ninth grade year. And then as I got older, I started leading the pack. And uh, he kind of knew then when I started squatting 500 and benching 450 that he was like, ah, okay, you got it now. <laughs> You're yeah. good to go. Yeah. Who was your favorite player from that era outside your dad? Uh, I would probably say uh, George T. Uh, Woodson. Uh, I like Joey Galloway. Um, and I was around with uh, Roy Williams when he was knocking heads off. Yeah, wow. that was my guy. That was my guy. So, was there any one of those guys that you watched, and part of your game looks like theirs because of what you saw? Um, I would say maybe how physical I play. Um, probably comes from Roy. Mm -hmm. uh, watching him, uh, I enjoy watching him put those pads on people a lot. Um, and then I would just say probably my dad as well, just him being a corner, more of a skill position, and then doing the drills that he did a lot growing up. <laughs> Why do you have naked cats? Um, I've only seen them in movies, so I thought, I was like, man, I had an opportunity to get one, and I never really seen anyone in person with one, so I'm all into like the exotic things. I breed uh, fluffy Frenchies and stuff. Wait, I'm sorry, wait, what? Now see, that's the thing you should have been embarrassed to say. Yeah. I breed fluffy Frenchies? Yeah. What is a fluffy Frenchie? It's a French bulldog with long hair. I, I can't quite picture that. My best friend has a Frenchie. Two of them, awesome. actually. I, I can't quite, do they still have the cute little face? Yes, they do. They're, they're with pretty, hair. Yeah. So you breed a dog that has extra hair and have cats that have no hair. So it kind of yes. just balances things out in your house. Absolutely. I'm gonna, okay, so here's my naked cat. That's Spanky. Yeah, I can't just <laughs> in on that. Can we get a tight shot? Can Jerry? This I'm is just, Spanky. Like, I can't. Hold on, let me show you Spanky. This How do you guy. know he's not a rat? He's not a rat. This is my guy <laughs> Spanky. Know? Spanky. No. That's my guy Spanky. And he cuddles with you? Oh man, yeah. He comes and he comes and purrs on me. He rubs his, okay. his naked body on my beard. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. He's cool. He loves me. He comes in uh, every morning before I get, go to work. He beats me downstairs to the pantry because he wants me to give him a can of wet food and some cat food. So he meow, meow, meows until I, yeah. He's like my little kid okay. in a sense. <clears throat> Wow, this is the conversation I did not expect to have. So when you were at Florida State, did you take veterinary classes? No, I did not. What's crazy is uh, I took no classes by animals. My oh, I thought you were going to say no classes at all. I was like, we don't need to go there. That no, was back there. in the day. We don't uh, need to go uh, there. Uh, mine was like sports science or something like that was like my degree. I didn't do anything with it. Not yet. I didn't do anything with Boo, it. Well, you might be a vet. Well, is uh, I've had litters. I was able to have a dog that's like a day old and put it on the mom and Aww. all that stuff. So being able to go see C sections and get into art uh, AIs and stuff, I kind of know a lot about animals when it comes to breeding. How did you get into that? Like, did you have a lot of pets growing up? Had hamsters, had fish, had all type of things. Um, so it was just one of those things where. Um, I loved animals, and I'm kind of one of those guys, I want to create my own dog. My own breed of dog. Okay. Because there's no such thing as a 100% dog. It's mixed with this or that. Mm -hmm. So I just always like certain dogs. Like I like an Irish Wolfhound, which is basically just a hairy Great Dane. Okay. Uh, I have a black Russian Terrier. That's about this big, and when he stands on his hind legs, he looks me in my eyes. He's as big as you. Yeah. And uh, he's from Russia, and they are war dogs, and he doesn't like when I put his hair in a ponytail because he likes for his hair to cover his eyes because you can't see him, but he sees you. And so at nighttime, he's pretty much invisible. So he's pretty That's cool. a little creepy to have in the house, don't you think? Uh, it's, it's like, that would him. scare the... <laughs> It's creepy You're for intruders. Jesus it's not creepy for me. me. I feed him every day, so he's okay with me. <laughs> I feed him every day. But he's cool. And then I have my little ones that I like to play with. Uh, I have like uh, Brussels Griffins, the little ugly cute dogs that look like the Grinch. I, oh. I have those. So 
I'm a little spread all over the place. Okay, how do you come up with names for all of them? Because this would be a huge stressor in my life. Um, it depends. Uh, so my, my cat Spanky, my favorite movie is Life with Martin Lawrence and uh, all those guys. And so Spanky Johnson was the reason why they went to jail. So I said, hey, Spanky, that's going to be his name. Uh, I have different ones. I have uh, Shadow. I have Bella Rose. I have uh, Beretta. I have Ghost. I have Nipsey. Uh, Penny. <laughs> I have all type of Mellow. Uh, Louie. I have a lot of different names. It just all depends on how I'm feeling at the time. What, what do you look like and how do I feel when I'm looking at you? Or how, oh, I was going to say, or how they interact with you. Like, yes. don't their personalities come out and you're mm -hmm. like, yeah. You're yeah. I, but I kind of have like a list in my notes of just like things I would name mm. my dogs, boy dog names and girl dog names. So, I wait. <laughs> I mean, um, you said your favorite movie is like, my favorite movie is Dirty Dancing. Really? Why? 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 Yeah, you have to have a reason why. I can give you a reason why life is... is why fun. do you like life? I'm from Mississippi. They had to go to jail in Mississippi for life. And those two, Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, are probably my two favorite comedians. They are very funny. Very. I don't know that I've watched life all the way through. Oh my goodness. Have you watched Dirty Dancing all the way through? Maybe twice. Wait, what? I was expecting you to say it like, no, maybe 20 minutes of it. Maybe twice. You've watched Dirty Dancing all the way through twice. It's been a while ago. But What's your yeah. favorite part? Don't put me on the spot. Oh, I thought you were going to say, don't put baby in the corner. Come on, Mario. I'm setting you up. You're not knocking him down. I am Okay, we can say that. We can say that. That's, my favorite. That's my favorite one. You don't put baby corner. in the corner. We can say that one. Mine is, where is my beige iridescent lipstick? <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. How do you, I don't even wear lipstick on the sidelines. How would you know that? I really, I've always wanted to dance like that. Really? Yeah. Can you do the lift? You know what? <laughs> no, no. What you would be your second can? favorite movie? Uh, the Sound of Music. But okay. my favorite football movie, Varsity Blues. Varsity Blues? My favorite would be Remember the Titans. Oh, that's a good one too. Or Waterboy. <laughs> Or Jerry Maguire. We went on totally opposite. I don't count Jerry Maguire as a football. Like it is, but I don't count Jerry Maguire as a football movie. Okay, we, we don't have to do that one. Yeah, Varsity Blues isn't up there? The guy who played football in Texas, Varsity Blues, is not at the top Friday of your list. Friday Lights would probably go before Varsity yeah. Blues. In yeah, I get that. I Cook You Measure is presented by Safeway, who welcomes everyone at the table through the Nourishing Neighbors program. You can donate in stores or get involved with the Back to Action campaign. Our food banks need volunteers to ensure no one in Washington goes hungry. Make a difference in the fight against food insecurity by using the QR code. And let's get back to action together.